In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a wheel drawing for your on your Autodesk Inventor. So the first thing you're going to want is your page that your teacher is going to have. My class is using a, a page that I've created. So I'm going to first hit base, and then I'm going to find where I've saved the wheel. And I know my class needs to be saving it in their Google Drive. So I'm going to open that up. And the first thing we need to do is decide on a front view. You can do it by clicking on the orientation or changing the view here. And then just finding a custom view, finish custom view. So I'm going to use a scale one to one for my sheet because if I go any bigger, it just takes up too much space and any smaller uh, just doesn't look right. So every part has six views. So front, top, left, bottom, right, an isometric. So I'm going to right click and hit create. And then also I can project that to the back. Right click and create. Now, since this has some of the views are the exact same, I really don't need them. I don't want to be redundant. So I'm going to click and delete my left view. I'm going to actually, my back view doesn't show me anything new. So I'm going to click on my back view. So just left click and then delete. And again, my bottom view, I don't need. And actually the same with my right view. My right view is the same as my top view. So the only views I need for this are my front and my top. Now, some really cool things you can do with this is we've got some detail that goes into this part right here. So I'm going to use a detailed view. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click, left click one time, left click and hold and drag open a circle, and then click it. And now I have a detailed view. I'm going to place it right there by left clicking. And you can see we can do uh, it kind of magnifies it and we can label some things a little bit uh, easier here. I'm going to move this up out of the way a little bit. And then I'm also going to do a section view on the wheel. So I'm going to click on section view and I'm going to click on my front view. So I'm going to click section view and I'm going to click in the middle. I'm going to find that green dot and I'm going to go up, uh, straight up, left click, go to the right perpendicular just a little ways, left click, and then I'm going to right click and continue. And I'm going to bring this part over here. Okay. One thing I want to make sure I do is double click this and shade it nice and pretty. All right. Now, as you can see, in the wheel instructions, we've got a detailed view right here. It magnifies this part right here. So we've just done that. This is a section view of the wheel. So all of these dimensions that are right here are going to go on our section view that we just created. And before I start dimensioning, I'm just going to save my work, save as, and then save it to my Google Drive in case my computer crashes on me. And now I'm going to go through and dimension everything by hitting annotate and dimension. When you click on a number, you can definitely reset the, um, so you might probably t pop up with text. You can reset your primary number as like three decimal points or four decimal points in case you have something that's rounded. For example, this right here.
All right, I think I have all my dimensions. One thing before you finish is you just want to double check. Use this uh, printout and cross out as you go along. And then add your text. Call this wheel. Uh, add you and your teammate's name to it. Of course, the class period. Our scale was uh, one to one. And you should be good to go. All right, great job. This is a good example of a, both a detailed drawing and a section drawing um, for parts that you can use in the future. All right, good luck.